Okay then, uh, let's start. Uh, so, for this from a complex migration pro project, uh, you can find me at as at Joy Santiago on the org and Drupal Slack. I'm an Italian living in Finland. Um, been working with Drupal since version five or so, and I work as a Drupal lead developer at Trimble. I love adventure, so uh, if you uh, are intrigued by the idea of somebody uh, without any um, training that starts for uh, and runs and walk for 50 kilometers and rumbles about equality, take a look at this uh, video that you can find in my presentation. Uh, so I'll tell you a little bit about our team. We are um, Trimble and uh, especially the Tecla Structures uh, group. We work in, um, we have an office in Finland and work together with uh, guys from Wunder uh, based in Estonia and uh, Latvia. And we are currently running uh, 11 or so websites um, and get around 53,000 uh, visits a day. Um, so the project um, we are migrating currently, uh, we have these um, four uh, D7 um, sites, uh, that are, and this is a multi-site install, and uh, we are making one support the tech.com that uh, gets content from all of these um, these seven sites, and of course, is uh, for now it's based on uh, Drupal 8.9. We'll see uh, if we manage to uh, go to Drupal 9 before we we will go live. Most likely, we'll go live um, before being able to be on Drupal 9. So, uh, a couple words about uh, migrations, um, and especially how they work in Drupal. Uh, so. Um, the uh, migrating content means uh, extracting, transforming, and then loading it in the new um, site. So for extracting, um, this is the source um, in, in Drupal, and there are uh, a bunch of uh, ready-made plugins for, for, for it. Um, we decided to go with the SQL because, of course, being um, the uh, old sites um, already in Drupal makes it way easier. Then uh, the transfer, transform uh, process uh, means that you can, of course, manipulate the, the data before you get it in. So there are a bunch of ready-made plugins and it's very easy to write the, uh, your own if you need. Um, and then uh, the content gets loaded into a destination. So uh, as I told you before, we are using SQL as source uh, because thanks to these um, Drush Migrate Upgrade command, uh, it's very easy to get all of the configuration uh, already uh, generated. But in, of course, in our case, uh, this wasn't enough because um, the way uh, migrate upgrade would like to uh, set up your site is um, taking everything you have in the old site and put it in the new one. So of course uh, this would mean that all the user IDs would stay the same, all the term IDs, node IDs, blah 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 would not change and of course since we have uh, four different sources at least could be we all, we even add the fifth one, then um, this doesn't doesn't work. So as I told you, we are merging four sites into one. Um, we uh, will end up most likely having uh, ten content types. They, they were um, around fourteen, fifteen in in some of these. Uh, uh, multi-sites. Um, we have most likely will end up having uh, 11 taxonomies and the whole project um, is 50 and counting Jira tickets. Uh, this uh, resulted in 
almost uh, or around 260 migration YAML files. Uh, we uh, managed so far uh, with writing only four custom source plugins and four custom process plugins. Mm. The biggest problem we uh, had is filtering content and it felt a little bit like this at, at the beginning. So um, the, the thing is uh, in our four sites, uh, we have around 1 million uh, nodes in, in each site. And so um, we, we were risking of getting submerged with, with um, a huge amount of content that we are then not, we would not be able to uh, deal with. So um, let's see how to filter content. One of the uh, easiest way to filter content is using the skip of value on value plugin. And um, this means that, for example, this, this would be a field tag. Uh, so a reference to a, to a taxonomy term. And this means that when a node has uh, kittens among the values for uh, this uh, field tag, uh, then you skip the whole um, row. Um, we put quite a lot of effort uh, into a patch uh, for Drupal core that we found that um, makes it possible to um, filter content at the source. So uh, this means that, um, well, since uh, since when, when you run the, the um, migration uh, script then uh, you get like a count of on how many nodes are are uh, there in the in the um, migration and blah 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 then we we would have loved loved to to have like a meaningful number there and so we, we really wanted to um, do the um, filtering and the source. Um, this patch for, for Drupal core that we contribute, contributed to uh, allows you to set conditions, joins, and uh, sub-queries to the um, plugins uh, that you use for source. Um, so this uh, allows us only, for example, to migrate only users who own content and um, to filter out cer certain content types of these um, these filtering, and also gen generate sorry getting in only users who and who have uh, published content, and as as I, I put it here, the these uh, condition makes it very easy to uh, get in only content that is uh, of type page that is um, published. Um, another big problem we had is dealing with files, and it feels a little bit like like this when you when you start uh, thinking about migrating uh, files from an old um, site, because by default you get all files in, and this for for us would have meant like having most likely like around four or five millions. Uh, file entities in the uh, manage table and so uh, we we needed something something more uh, again with the patch um, that we uh, wrote for for the core uh, it is possible to uh, and by the way if you if you look for this patch it's linked here um, so the um, uh, this patch allowed us uh, to f get in um, table, uh, sorry, uh, getting files used uh, exactly in the nodes that we are uh, getting in. So this way, um, it's uh, it's way easier for us to get in only the files that we are actually needing and not the not all the, the files that we have in the old databases. Um, and then we, um, of course, since our editors are allowed to um, put uh, images, for example, in, in the body fields or links to, to files or um, whatever, <laughs> because we have a what you see is what you get um, 
editor, then uh, we also needed to, to get in these files. And um, so we, we had to write a custom source plugin that uh, is able to go through the, um, the body field basically and uh, get in uh, these files that are directly inserted into, into the body field. So this, we really hope that all of this will allow us to um, migrate only files that are in use uh, because they come from fields uh, and or are directly inserted in, in Node's body. And um, we also want to be sure that they are really in use because they, are, um, they, all, they should come only from published content. So migrating is a very, very long journey. And um, so we, we basically started, um, I think, right in the first migrations in July. And we are, when I actually submitted the um, session, I was um, hoping that, that we would have been there already. Instead, um, our our um, managers are still asking us, are we there yet? Um, so the journey is a little bit scary and um, it's, it's very um, time consuming doing all of these migrations and writing all of these YAML files, but we really hope that uh, the, the result will, will be this one. So we, we hope that uh, in the end we, we will have a way cleaner database than, than the one that, that we started with um, and that we, we, we will have their only um, content that we want to have. Um, so our, our aim is uh, simplify things because we think that um, migrating is uh, time to rethink at the at the uh, site that that we had and that uh, we want and of course we we wanted to be, to make things as easier as easy as possible for for us man managing the uh, the site and for our end users and editors to to use the files and the the site that that we are building so do you have any questions post the issue queue for filtering uh, yeah, I can, I can, well, the, the I, mm -hmm. yes, I put it here, actually. Let's copy the link. I, I hope you meant you, you wanted this link, Dagmar. Well, in in case you you have any questions or want to get in touch with me, you can you can write me an email. Uh, this is my my email, and you can find me at as uh, at Joy Santiago on uh, Drupal org Slack. Yeah, exactly. We are not writing a, a UI. Uh, everything uh, is um, done in the YAML files. So uh, the the conditions um, and and the subqueries and the joins are 
or are meant to be put in the YAML files. Um, well, in in that issue, you, um, somebody is is uh, suggesting that that most likely it's not the the um, right thing to do, maybe. Um, and I, I can totally see the point. So um, this this makes the the YAML files a, a little bit harder to to work with. There is a, like they, they get very technical this way, putting putting uh, directly queries there. But in my opinion, it's uh, it's also something that uh, I don't know. It's it's a possibility that you have more. It's not that that it's mandatory to to make things hard so i don't know how the patch will go uh, i think we will we will go on um making it um making it work with with newer versions like now uh, it doesn't work with uh, 897 and so i i know that that i need to do some work with it but yeah that that's it Okay, I I think I will leave now. Thank you very much for for being here, and if you want to get in touch with me, you you know where where you can find me. Thank you very much. <laughs>